Hello dear viewers, I would like to show you our new project. This little wooden boat is a true old timer. She was manufactured in 1948 when the cars looked like this. This boat has a really interesting history with several restorations and makeovers keeping her alive and well till this day. The last makeover was in 2018 when Croatia won the silver medal in Football World Championship. In celebration of that achievement, her previous owner painted her in red cubes that represent our national symbol. We had one fun summer with her and we really liked it. There was only one problem. We scared the birds. To deal with this problem, we had to take her home. Her old gasoline engine is too noisy for our liking and we never want to scare the birds again. Or fishes. So we really have only one choice. And that is to make it electric. She will have solar panels to charge lithium battery and she will never have to be plugged in for charging. Well, we hope almost never. We will show you the full restoration of the boat, custom electric motor and lithium battery build and all other bits and pieces needed for her to be able to work and look properly. This is what she looked like when we brought her home. You can see that the years have taken its toll and it was time for some customization. And like every other project, this one also starts with a good old grinder. Here you can see my brother Edo uncustomizing the old paint from the interior. The legend says his other brother is famous actor from a TV show. Can you guess which one? Anyways, you can see that the inside of the boat is not looking very good. So we decided to remove all the paint and rotten parts of the wood. It was a long and tedious process with a lot of dust flying all over. Let's ask Edo how he feels. How do you feel? Like shit. He feels like shit. Good job, Edo. Almost done. Let's move on the next thing to do. We found that many structural ribs were rotten and were not strong enough to support the body of the boat. Many of them had to be replaced. This brings us to the next character of the show. This is my best friend Dennis. He is a good guy with a lot of quality skills. The legend says you never have to tell him what to do, he just does. Just enjoy in watching him manufacture this rib from scratch. Masterful precision. Edo approves. We glued the ribs with wood glue and secured them with bolts. And we sealed the ribs with rubber seal. But sometimes mistakes do happen. And when they do happen, best thing to do is to have a beer break. Cheers, mates! In the end, we replaced almost 40% of the ribs. And this is me, my name is Tino, and the legend says I have too many projects. You can see me working on the left side of the boat. I already spent two weekends preparing the boat for painting. There is already 5 kilos of fiber putty on that side alone. Ooh, well hello there. Here comes my girl Ivona, carrying some biofuel. Project Mini on the left. <laughs> oh. yeah. 
Ivona has a very important part in every project. The legend says that she's good with horses. All kinds of horses. This is my sister Antonia. She also helped a bit. And the legend says she's a nomad. And this is our dog Bex. Aren't we a happy bunch? Look at Edo, already dreaming about electric boat. Here you can also see Antonia uncustomizing the front part of the boat with the help of Matea, Edo's girl. The legend says that Cameron loves her and she loves her back. And these are the hands of the real craftsman, Dennis, the guy from the beginning of the story. He took on customizing very seriously. I'll just leave you to enjoy some nice tune while he demolishes our boat. And this is the aftermath. No words needed, really. That's what you get for hiring a professional. Back to seriousness now. We decided to fill the gaps between the wood with wood filler to prevent water from entering in unwanted places. The boat is now almost ready for painting. I just needed to finish one more thing before final paint job of the inside of the boat could be done. All the wood that was holding the sail mast till now was rotten away and needed to be replaced. The new sail mast needs to be strong enough to hold 60 kilos of solar panels that we plan to install to charge the battery. I am designing this part from scratch and trying to make it as rigid as possible. You will find out more about this in the next episodes that are coming. But now I just want to show off this special angle drill I have. There, all done. And now you can enjoy this beautiful tune while I paint the boat.